Hi, this is Lolly with Your Life My Design, and today I'm going to show you how to use variables in Photoshop and how to set up your template. Um, so in my business, I design photo collages, and some of them um, require having to fill in all of these words. Usually my customers send me around 40 words, and I used to have to type each one individually, uh, but I started using uh, Photoshop variables and that has changed everything. Okay, so this is what the template looks like and you can see this is the template for the 50. There's the 5 and here's the 0. And um, um, okay, so let me just start um, here. So my template is set up. I also have one that's not set up and I'll show you um, how to set it up. But this is the template and it's all set up. Um, basically, when my customers send me their words, they are usually sending me a list like this that I can copy and paste. Um, I do run into issues sometimes where customers will send them to me like this and um, you know, like all in one row with no commas whatsoever. Um, either way, I have a sheet back here. Let me find it. There it is. Okay. So um, in Google Sheets, I created this um, the sheet. <laughs> and um, this is basically the, uh, like, you know, very similar to like an Excel spreadsheet and it works in conjunction with the Photoshop file. So here's where you're setting up all the information that you're going to put into Photoshop as far as the words that you are using. Um, let me come back over here to this list. Okay, so um, as I was saying, if a customer sends me a list like this, you know, I usually copy and paste and I have to bring it over here and you know kind of set it up so that it is one on top of the other okay because then i would take this list and i'm not going to actually take this list i'm going to take the one that was given to me because it's the one i'm actually working on right now oh where are you going all right Oh, <laughs> my mouse has a mind of its own. Okay, so I'm going to copy this. I'm going to bring it into this master list that I um, created. I'm going to paste it. All right, I have two um, that are not being used, so I just write an N when they're not being used. Okay. Um, now that I have done that, um, so I basically, so sorry, I just need to back up a second here. So there's a formula in um, Sheets and Excel, it's called transpose. And basically what it says, what the formula does is anything that you put in a list up and down, um, it will put those exact same words across one row and the reason you need to do that is because Photoshop only um, I guess the way the CSV um, exports it needs to be this way so I put the formula over here just so that I don't ever lose it on its own line um, anyways so once I put this list here these words here they automatically get plugged in over here. So for example, if I change this word here, you'll see that this this first one, um, this first box changed. Okay, so then I'm going to now highlight and I'm going to copy just this line. Now I'm going to go to my copy paste tab down here. I have a 40 word copy paste and I have a 30 word copy paste. So this is 40 so I'm just going to paste this here, Command B, 
and then I am just going to now export it. And I'm uh, downloading it as a CSV. Okay, that's it. So now I'm going to go back to Photoshop and um, and I'm going to go to image and I'm going to go to variables and I'm going to go to define. All right. Um, let me just, I'm going to go ahead and do the, the process and then I'll show you how to set up the template. So here I would go to, so basically what you have to tell Photoshop to do is for each one of these, let me open the layers up. Okay. And let me go back to image variables and data sets. All right. So for each, sorry, to define, um, cause first we're going to define and tell Photoshop what to do. So here under define for anything that, whatever the name of your layer on this side, has to be the name that you put on this text variable and it has to and it has to match the name that's on the transpose list so if you see this um, text variable one is going to replace um, whatever is in here so when you're setting up your template you're going to go through and um, change all of these to have it say text variable 33, just basically to match these layers. So if you have 90 layers, you need to do this 90 times. Setting up the template is very tedious, um, but once it's set up, it's pretty awesome. And I'll show you that right now. All right, so my template is, the, is set up. I'm gonna go into my data set. Whatever was in here before, I'm gonna trash it. Now I'm going to import my new data set, which is that CSV file. I'm going to click on import. I'm going to look for the file. I'm going to go to my downloads. It's right here. I'm going to click on open. Okay. And then apply. Let me cancel it so you can see it change file. No, not file image variables, data sets. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to trash what's in there. I'm going to import the new CSV. Okay. And then when you hit apply, you'll see all the words changed and then you hit, okay. And then you're done. Um, you know, at this point, you know, you could go through and just double check, make sure like there was two, the two ends that I didn't use. I'll take away, I'll put the 50 and then I'll, you know, kind of fix it and make it look great. Um, so that's how you do that. And then here is how you set up the template. Um, okay. So First things first is that photo, uh, yeah, Photoshop basically wants your text layer. Let me show you. There's two ways to do a text layer. One is to do a text box, you know, and you type in into the box and then you check it off or you click on the board and you just type. Okay. When you're setting up your template, it needs to be like this. You need to be at putting in a type box, not that you are clicking and typing your word. The only way for Photoshop to read um, the type is to put it here. And if you needed your layer, you know, to have um, an arch, you know, you could do that. And that'll work as fine as well because again it's still a typable uh, layer okay so let me get rid of that let me open up the template and um, okay I'm gonna go to image and I'm gonna go to variables 
and I'm going to go to define. So this template is not um, filled out. So we're here on define. You're going to click the drop down. Actually, let me open up these layers so you can see the layer names. So I'm going to go to image. I'm going to go to variables. I'm going to go to define. And um, you can see here text variable 40 needs to be named text variable 40. So when you go here, it's going to say text variable 1. Just delete the 1 and write 40. And then go to the next one and do text replacement. And now we do 39. And go to the next one. And you go text replacement and change the number to 38. So basically, you're just trying to match all of the layer name here with the text replacement here with whatever name you have here. I just left it as text variable because I don't want any mistakes and they have to be um, exact. So when you um, click this drop down menu, you'll see that these three have stars next to them. They have stars because they have been defined. Um, and so you would have to do that for the entire template and then that's it. And then save this so you can use it each and every time. Um, and that's it. That's how you use text variables. It's really complicated to set up in my opinion, but completely worth it in the end. Um, cause basically all you do is, you know, just copy and paste your words into this, um, into the sheet and then just bring them into Photoshop. I really hope that was helpful. Um, and I'm happy to answer any questions.